go to Aldi's or uh, Aldi, yeah. Aldi. Mm -hmm. What's going on you guys? Happy Wednesday. Welcome to today's video. As you've seen in the title, we are headed out to Aldi. Yes, it's been a while since I've been in there. Occasionally, I like to go in there and just kind of meander through the aisles and see what's new. And um, a lot of times I storm through there and get milk and head right back out to the register and get on out because I know if I like, if I take my blinders off, I'm gonna be a minute. So, but I like to allow myself to have that time once or twice a month, just walk through there and see what's new. There are things that I like to get at Aldi that I can't get at Walmart or Sam's and things like that. So we're gonna take a trip through there because you know, you guys are my BFFs and I have to take you guys with me. Of course, yes. But today's video is extra special to me because it is a collab with my good friend Mel over at In The Kitchen with Mama Mel. You may already be familiar with her. And if you are, you will know why she is one of my good friends. Her and I relate on so many different levels. She's just a good old Southern gal, just like me. She shares a lot of the same content that I do. So that's why I believe you guys will really love her channel. She is also going to be sharing with you an Aldi stock up video today. So I will leave her channel linked down in my description box below, as well as the video that she is sharing with you guys today. I would love it if you guys will go over and show her some love and let her know that I sent you. I believe that you're really gonna love her just down to earth, Southern cooking and grocery hauls that she shares over there. If you're new and coming over from Mel's channel, thank you so much for joining me for today's video. I hope that you like what you see here. I hope that you'll decide to stick around and hang out with me. I would love to go ahead and introduce myself. I guess I should probably do that. <laughs> yeah. My name is Jennifer and this is Southern Mama Drama. I'm a mother to three. I have two boys. 10 and four, and then I have a baby girl who is one, and I'm a stay-at-home mom, and we just live in life over here. I share grocery hauls over here on this channel, cooking, a motherhood, lifestyle. I just kind of, you know, day-to-day, -day, things that are going on over here, I like to share. So if that's something that you're into, make sure you subscribe and hang around, and let's get on into the video, guys. We're gonna head out and go on over to Aldi now. Also, I forgot to mention, you guys are gonna to wanna to stick around a while because at the end of this video, we're gonna be making dinner together. We made it to Aldi. I have my calda. Yes, I do. Let's go on in here and see what's up. Aldi's has some moms here for $3.99. None of them are balloons. They kind of look a little bit like they need some love. I am going to go ahead and pick up a couple of bottles of this specific fruit wine. I'm not a huge wine drinker, but you guys, <laughs> this right here, the blueberry is delicious. What did I have? I, have, I think I had the peach already. And I just noticed that they have apple. I've not noticed that they've had apple before. They got watermelon and they also have pineapple. For those of you who don't typically shop at Aldi, they have a really great selection of nuts here. And I want to say that they have like the chopped, you know, that you use for bacon and stuff over on their bacon aisle as well. So make sure you guys check those out as we are approaching the holiday season. That looks really scrumptious. Got that apple pie with cinnamon. Pumpkin pie. How did I skip over the pecan pie? Oh my gosh, that looks good. They've got these 
pretzel bites here. Actually, 50% off, and it says it comes with a little salt pack in there. All right, what is this? Pork snack sticks. I thought that was some kind of dog treats. It's kind of huge. Got beer cheese fondue. Sea salt caramel cookie dough. Pumpkin cookie dough. This looks really good. Indulgent Greek honey maple flavored yogurt. Got some different flavors in the perfect bars. This is pumpkin pie and chocolate mint. Also got another flavor of hummus here, garlic dill. That looks really good. What is this? Rotisserie style pulled pork. Oh, they've got this uh, Mama Cozy pizza dough. I bet you that would make a banging pizza. So 95 cents. Not a bad price. Also, I uh, haven't seen these before, although, like I said, I don't get in here and shop very often. Cheese curds, they've got a garlic cheddar, and they also have the Cajun cheddar. Imagine those bad boys fried up. Oh my gosh. These look really good. Apple cinnamon Danish pastries. They also have the cherry cheese. Y'all remember like a year ago when we would roll down this aisle with all the pastas and canned food and there'd be nothing. Lord have mercy. I mean, just look. The things we took for granted. <laughs> it makes us appreciate it, doesn't it? For sure. I always like to check out the end caps because they usually have some of their seasonal stuff there. They got this pumpkin spice trail mix, which I believe I saw last time. Organic bourbon barrel maple syrup, maple butter, salted caramel apple spread. Look at this caramel apple pie, y'all. <laughs> oh, that looks so good. And they've got some pumpkin spice apple cider down here, some pumpkin spice pretzels, and these things are banging right here. Cinnamon apple straws, oh, they're so good. I might get some of those, actually. got pumpkin spiced almonds and they got one little long package of fluffer nutter cookies here <laughs> those look good they're they've got these vegan gluten-free dairy-free um like bars here apple pie and a peanut butter cookie okay here's what i was talking about they have the shelled walnuts chopped walnuts what's that slivered almonds chopped pecans and pecan halves over here for all of your baking needs come and get them okay so i am coming in here on a monday typically i like to try to come in here on a wednesday morning like right after they put all of their new sale items out but we're here on a monday so the all all of shame is looking a little sparse but that's okay we're still gonna go down see if there's anything new They decide to mark these pumpkins down from $14.99 each. I might get me one, but they only got brown left now. Oh gosh, is Harrison here? <laughs> these easel signs are so cute. $6.99 there. Looks like they're all Halloween themed though. Reversible little signs here. <laughs> They've got the like woodwick dupes, but they're called timber wicks. Fireside and fig. That smells good. Citrus clove. Mm. Nice. Those are six ninety nine. dollars still got some Halloween mats. I really would like to have a couple of these mesh organizers. They're $16.99. Kind of late on to mark them down because there's quite a bit left. So maybe if I come back closer to the end of the week, mm, you think? Maybe? Maybe? They marked down this wooden serving tray with a dip bowl. That's cool. I like the side of that. Marked down from $14.29 to 
These things right here are addictive and they will get me in trouble. I'll eat the whole thing. Caramel apple, pumpkin spice, and cinnamon cream. Ooh, check these out. Caramel macchiato, caramel apple, coffees. Yes, yes. Ooh, that's interesting. A coffee dry rub. And then there's also a blackened dry rub. They're $3.29. Oh, I love those signs. Those are so cute. They're reversible. I guess this is the one side and then the other side has the happy harvest. Those are so cute. I got these Halloween fruit strips in strawberry and wild berry. It comes with 20 of them for $9.49. And then they've got all of their candy out for Halloween. Look at that. Yum. Oh, look at these little LED lanterns. Is it going to work? Oh, it, well, it's kind of working. So it's trying. It's trying. Let's see if we can get this one to work. There we go. Happy Halloween. Very cute. Caramel flavored coffee and... Apple crisp. What do we have here? What do we have here? We've got pumpkin and creamed stove cold brew. Calypia Farms pumpkin spice latte. What is this? Ooh, pumpkin spice almond milk creamer. What in the world is pumpkin spilt? Risotto. Risotto? Risotto. Bam. Coffee bites. Oh, this hair is my kind of potato. Craft beer. Battered potatoes. Thin cuts. Well, look at here what we've rolled upon. Donut flavored. Donut bars. Flavored ice cream. Vanilla and chocolate. Um. Strawberry. Ooh, I don't know where the stash of these are, but they're just kind of sitting by themselves. Apple cinnamon ice cream. All right, it's time to scoot. Let's go home and unload what we got. All right, let's get on into this little baby haul from Aldi. Like I said, I didn't need much. A lot of the stuff that you see here are things that I wanted, and that's okay. I went ahead and picked up some more loaf bread because the one that I got this past weekend, we kind of went through half of it. I want to make sure we have plenty of bread for this week. You guys know every time I go, I am obsessed with this hummus quartet it's got four different flavors of hummus in it and it is so good i love it i'm not a big hummus person but i really like this got some more baby food pouches harrison and stevie still absolutely loving these um we <laughs> i left my uh, parmesan cheese out forgot to put it back in the refrigerator there wasn't a lot left anyway but went ahead and picked some more of that up i got the one with romana cheese in it this time these are so good. Get yourself some of these if you go to Aldi. Full show. They are so good. I got four cans of cut green beans. We made some green beans last week. And so just trying to get the stash back up. You guys, they have the whipped topping back in stock at Aldi. They have the maple vanilla, which is my absolute favorite. And then I think they also have the pumpkin spice or pumpkin something. And... Oh my gosh, this is so good. I was so excited to see that back. Needed some more cooking spray. So I wanted to try this avocado oil spray this time. I think this is not like the aerosol one. I think this is just kind of like a squirt um, thing. So it's not got the propellant in it. So I just wanted to see how, see how we like that. And then, of course, I told you guys that we absolutely love it. We, I, <laughs> Jeff doesn't really drink these. He likes them. Uh, the um red wines like the merlots and things like that but these are so good i got the sweet blueberry and sweet apple and went ahead and picked up some milk because y'all know we just don't trust the walmart milk it has a funky taste about it sometimes so we just always get our milk at aldi 
and then I got some toilet paper. I like the Scott is my Scott is my all-time favorite, and so Walmart and Aldi both have like their brand of the Scott, which is like so much cheaper. So I either go for the one at Walmart or this one. And then last, <sighs> y'all know I had to scoop something up off of the Isle of Shame. Yes, I did. I got sister a growth chart thing, and it's made out of a big piece of wood. It is reversible. There's the other side. It's just a light pink. Is that not adorable? I'm so excited. The boys already have a growth chart, but Sissy didn't have one, so now she does. It's still quite early. Got a couple of things I got to get done around the house before I go pick the kids up, but... In just a little bit, we'll get to cooking. I am making, like I said, one of my favorite meals, butter chicken. It's just a good go-to. It's items that you probably already have on hand. So I'm gonna share that with you guys because I think y'all will really like that. And so I'll see you guys back in just a little bit. This recipe is really, really simple. It calls for either two or three chicken breasts. I've got three chicken breasts here because I got lots of mouths to feed tonight. Got two eggs. They're gonna go in here. We've got some crackles. They're gonna go in here. I'm gonna crush those up. We're gonna dip, dip, plop. Okay? Actually, you know what? I've gotta put some garlic salt in the crackers too. And then, once we get all that done, we're gonna put butter, hence butter chicken. We're gonna slice this up and we're gonna put this on top of the breaded chicken. It's going in here? Yeah, crack them in and put them inside that dish So many of you guys have asked about this sweet girl that's helping me cook tonight. This is my neighbor, Claire. She comes over quite a bit. She loves hanging out with us. She loves spending time with the kiddos. And so now we're just going to teach her how to do some cooking here. ASMR. <laughs> Do it.
Yep, all the way down. The little blue, yeah, like that. done prepping the chicken we're gonna throw this in the oven like i said it's on 350 we're gonna kick it kick it we're gonna kick it <laughs> we're gonna kick the chicken we're gonna cook it for it calls for 40 to 45 minutes i have a feeling these are not gonna take that long because these are technically cut into tenderloins but let's get to cooking <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and season the broccoli so you're gonna just Take the this. olive oil and just drizzle it over the top of the broccoli. We're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna season with salt, pepper, onion powder, and garlic powder. That's my like four favorite um, seasoning. I think your thing's about to die. All right, yeah, I need some batteries. We did good. And we're just gonna toss them around. Get all the flavors Ew. together. This is a lot. And then we're gonna wash our hands. All right, we're gonna go ahead and put this in the oven now. I'm just gonna put it there with the chicken. So come back. Usually I do like 400 degrees for like 20 to 25 minutes, but we'll keep an eye on it. Okay, Claire, we're about to do a magic trick. Are you excited? Don't be twerking in my camera. I wasn't twerking. Mm. I'm excited. Okay, we're gonna do a magic trick. Here we go. Okay. Okay, here's what we did. We got a corn in a in our little dish here and we put it in the microwave with the lid on with some water covering the bottom. And we put it in the microwave for eight minutes. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna we're gonna take the corn by its little little head okay. and it's just and we're gonna squeeze. <gasps> There's your magic corn trick. So, Claire, see if you can do it. <laughs> Why does it feel like that? <laughs> Ew, it like, has sound effects. Right. No, it doesn't. It's jam. <laughs> I know it is. <laughs> oh. Right, see? Look. And, oh! Pull those off with it. All right. And see, when you do it that way, you don't get all the silk on the corn. Is that not cool? All right, guys, here is dinner all plated up. What a simple yet delicious recipe. You guys have got to give this a try. I will definitely leave the recipe linked down in my description box below. Okay. Hey. Hey. All right, that's a wrap. We're going to sit down and eat dinner. Thank y'all so much for joining us for today. Don't forget to check out my friend mail down in my description box go over and watch her video for today show her some love subscribe to her channel we'll see you guys in the next video bye y'all